Boeing has stated that the U.S. Navy's Boeing MQ-25 Unmanned Aircraft System UAS, refueled a Navy E-2D Hawkeye in a test flight from Mid-America St. Louis Airport last week. During the flight, pilots from the U.S. Navy Air Test and Evaluation Squadron VX-20, did a wake survey behind the MQ-25 to check its stability before making contact with the other aircraft. The E-2D then received fuel from the MQ-25. Viewers may note that the EQD is the second carrier-based aircraft that the MQ-25 refueled. In June this year, the UAS refueled a U.S. Navy Super Hornet in flight. That interaction between MQ-25 and U.S. Navy F-A-18 Super Hornet was the first time in history the U.S. Navy and Boeing have demonstrated air-to-air -air refueling using unmanned aircraft. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how the Boeing MQ-25 is turning out to be a major force multiplier for the U.S. Navy. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by the free-to-play military vehicle combat game War Thunder. We talk a lot about military vehicles on this channel, but what about trying them out for yourself? In War Thunder, you can choose from more than 1,200 playable vehicles from the 1930s to the 1990s and go to battle on more than 80 theaters of war. You can fly aircraft, helicopters, drive tanks, and command ships of all types and sizes, which have been carefully recreated from their real-world counterparts. It's available as a free download on PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One with cross-platform support. So grab your friends and give it a try. All viewers of Defense Updates that register using the link in the description below will also get a free premium tank, aircraft, or ship and three days of premium account time as a bonus. U.S. Navy Unmanned Carrier Aviation Program Manager Captain Chad Reed said that once it becomes fully operational, the MQ-25 will refuel every receiver-capable platform like the E-2 system. Reed added, This flight keeps us on a fast track to getting the Stingray out to the fleet, where its refueling capability will greatly increase the range and operational flexibility of the carrier air wing and strike group. Dave Bujold, Boeing's MQ-25 program director, called the flight yet another demonstration that the design of the MQ-25 is performing to plan. He further added, These historic refueling flights provide an incredible amount of data we feed back into the MQ-25 digital models to ensure the aircraft we're producing will be the Navy's game-changer for the carrier airway. The Boeing MQ-25 Stingray is an aerial refueling drone that resulted from the Carrier-Based Aerial Refueling System CBARS, program, which grew out of the earlier Unmanned Carrier-Launched Airborne Surveillance and Strike U-Class program. In October 2017, the U.S. Navy released the final MQ-25 Stingray RFP. The competitors were Lockheed Martin, Boeing, Northrop Grumman, and General Atomics. General Atomics proposed the Sea Avenger concept, which is an enlarged version of the Avenger drone customized for air refueling. Lockheed Martin put on the table their Sea Ghost design based on the RQ-170 Sentinel. Northrop Grumman initially proposed X-47B but later withdrew, stating it wouldn't be able to execute the program under the terms of the service's request for proposals. Boeing came into the competition with a full-fledged prototype derived from its Phantom Ray demonstrator, which ultimately won. The design is powered by a single Rolls-Royce AE-3007N turbofan engine that delivers 10,000 pounds or 4,500 kilograms of thrust. The initial contract of $805 million covers the design, development, fabrication, test, and delivery of four Stingray unmanned tanker drones. 
ultimately the contract is worth $13 billion, as around 72 such drones would be included in total. The goal of the program is to deliver up to 15,000 pounds of fuel, up to 500 nautical miles from the carrier, USNI News reported in 2017. While the aircraft is less stealthy than flying wing UAVs, it does feature a stealthy fuselage shaping, flush inlet to shield engine blades from radar and VTAIL. The Northrop Grumman E-2 Hawkeye is an American, all-weather, carrier-capable, tactical airborne, early warning AEW aircraft. This twin turboprop aircraft was designed and developed during the late 1950s and early 1960s by the Grumman Aircraft Company for the United States Navy as a replacement for the earlier piston-engined E-1 Tracer, which was rapidly becoming obsolete. The fourth major version of the Hawkeye is the E-2D, which first flew in 2007. The variant features an entirely new avionics suite, including the new AN-APY-9 radar, radio suite, mission computer, integrated satellite communications, flight management system, improved T-56A-427A engines, a glass cockpit, and aerial refueling. The APY-9 radar features an active electronically scanned array, which adds electronic scanning to the mechanical rotation of the radar in its radome. The E-2 Hawkeye is a crucial component of all U.S. Navy carrier air wings. Each carrier is equipped with four Hawkeyes, five in some situations, allowing for continuous 24-hour-a-day operation of at least one E-2 and for one or two to undergo maintenance in the aircraft carrier's hangar deck at all times. The idea is that E-2D, now equipped with an aerial refueling capability, can stay in the air longer for better awareness around the carrier strike group. Operating from an altitude above 25,000 feet, the Hawkeye can warn the Naval Task Force of approaching threats and can provide positional data to the F-A-18 E and F Super Hornets. Super Hornets are very capable and battle-tested aircraft, which have seen many rounds of upgrades that have kept them optimized for changing battle scenarios. Going forward, Lockheed Martin F-35C fighters will also be able to get fuel from MQ-25. So basically, all the carrier-based assets, Boeing FA-18 Super Hornet, Boeing EA-18G Growler, E-2D and Lockheed Martin F-35C fighters will have increased range and endurance, which is a massive tactical gain. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.